Good morning, guys. <laughs> Croaky. Croaky. Good morning, friends. My skin's pretty oily. Not as oily as Fells, of course, but it's pretty dry around my cheeks. Look how oily I am throughout the night. This is what I'm talking about, dude. I wake up with like an intense layer of film over my face and my head looks like an egg. So Ro and I thought we would do a really fun get ready with us morning video where we try a whole new routine of new products that we've been really excited to test out. So we'll do it all together with you guys. Let's get the morning started and Phil will call me a little bit. Bing. Darling. Waiting for a call from a special someone. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to revel? Yes. So in my bathroom, getting ready for the day. Harros. <laughs> so many camera inceptions. Good morning! <laughs> Good morning! So confused. <laughs> Is this what like celebrities feel like if they're making a documentary about them? They just have camera as soon as they open their eyeballs. Perhaps. Have we made it? Mom! Have Mom! Ma ma mother! I made it! Mother! <laughs> Mama! Mom, look, I'm famous! Uh, there's construction in my building too. Lol. <laughs> Disclaimer! There's construction going on everywhere. <laughs> Hello, beauties. Welcome back to another episode of Beauty Within at Home Edition. It is your host, Rowena, and... It's Felicia. And more specifically, it's out in Bathroom Edition. We wanted to share with you guys how we go through picking products and how we kind of figure out whether we like a product or not. Yes! Products that are brand new or ones that we've never tried before. Oh, shebang. So literally mine are still like in the boxes. And what I like to do, and we'll share certain tips with you, is like go through some of the key ingredients, tell you guys how it really feels, the after texture of it, and see if it plays up to either the hype or whatever we think. So this will be fun. This is experimenting all together. So I'm excited. Let's get started. Okay, so which cleanser are you trying out? I'm gonna try the Tatcha the Rice Wash. This I'm really excited about because you know how much I love of rice in skincare. It's super nourishing. It's like slightly subtly brightening. And this one is specifically made for normal to dry skin. It's a soft cream cleanser and it's pH neutral with rice and hyaluronic acid. So it gently purifies as well as like moisturizes the skin, which is I think everything that my skin needs. What about you? So for mine, um, I recently got sent the Herbivore Pink Cloud. Wait for it. Creamy jelly cleanser. Ooh, wow. Right up your alley. So like, right? And they have like this really pretty like pink cloud design on the side. So let's open it. Okay, so you open it and it says good skin naturally. So Herbivore is a brand that I don't think I've really used apart from the Blue Tansy. I have oh mine too, so God. we can. I'm gonna try the texture with you. Okay, so it's in a glass bottle. It literally looks Ooh, like a cloud inside. It does. Guys, do you see this? Do you Beautiful. see what I see? What I see. The answer is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they say the key ingredients contain mushroom, rose water, coconut water, and plant based surfactants. So I'm very excited for this because it seems very gentle. So there's also squalane, which is a very lightweight, non-comedogenic oil that works well with dry and oily skin types. Okay, so I wanna try dry cleansing with this because I feel like it's formulated in a really gentle way. I'm gonna put some water on my face first. And meanwhile, I'm just gonna squirt to squirt if I can open this. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Tell me about the texture. Ooh. It smells actually like the rose toner. 
you know, like a fresh rose toner because it is rose water and look at the consistency. Okay. It's not like, ooh, rude. Show me. Ooh, it's gummy. Oh, it's like jelly. It's not really milky. It's got that slight cloud, I think, because it is cloud. What's yours like? It actually reminds me of the Nine Wishes rice wash, but without the actual graininess look. Ah, uh, without the micro. It's kind of like a thicker version of a mousse, and there are like micro granulars in there that you can see, but it's not exfoliating like the... Well, actually it is. I feel it. No, I feel it. It's there. So it's that same kind of thick, gummy, sugary Yeah, yeah. But like for sure smaller than sugar granules. And then the more water you add, it's supposed to froth and foam. Oh, this cleanser is so nice. You know what? It reminds me of my favorite Indie Lee Pure mm. Okay, so I didn't use any water on this. I just used a bunch of cleanser. It actually looks like you put water on your face. I know, right? In emulsifying. Emulsifying! <laughs> Okay, so this is what happens when you do dry cleansing. Like it starts to kind of work into your skin really gently, but sometimes it, it will get a, like a little tacky and then you work it in for 30 seconds and then you emulsify with water. Yes, so I got some water and then it thins out. So this one, the moussey cream is starting to turn into like a gentle foam. It reminds me of the Suisai foam. The enzyme powder, how it like has a really nice film, micro foam, velvet texture on your face. Ooh, this feels so good. It looks really smooth. It is. I'm just gliding on my face. This is why we really enjoy gentle cleanses these days and we've really like worked up our love for it because cleanses never used to be so exciting. But now it's like everything we get, I'm like, I want to try it now. I'm on a cloud. <laughs> Rose water cloud and rice patty. <laughs> this is really smooth. Like it's gliding over like a dolphin. All right, wash off. My hair's gonna get everywhere. I don't know how you wash your hair with your hair down. Wash my hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> how does one wash? <laughs> I also wash my hair with my hair down. <laughs> how does one wash? face with hair down. Something that you guys don't know is that there's a tripod on top of my sink. <laughs> so I have to stick my head under the tripod. Have you hit it coming up ever? <laughs> I hit the handle um, and it's just a big mess. Off you go. Bing! Leaving the water on the face. Fanning it out, because this is what Glue Recipe said. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> I will pat dry gently. Gentle pat, pat. Not stripping, not drying at all. My face feels very moisturized. It looks very happy. It looks slightly brighter. When you wash your face in the morning, I don't know what about the blood circulation from like bed to standing up straight to water. Like it really glows. And I think you can see that for both of us. It's like supple. I'm gonna quickly put everything on or else my face is gonna dry off. What are you gonna use? Because I actually don't have a product. I have a device. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Benton Deep Green Tea Toner as recommended by yours Ooh. truly. Ooh. You guys know the Amor Pacific Vintage Essence has been my favorite. This is like a jumbo jumbo size. And I've been trying out a bunch of like anything with green tea. I want to try out to see if it could be a comparable dupe. Let's try this out. I love that one because it feels like water on your face, like nothing at all. Try like layering two or three layers on as it dries. I'll do like five layers as you talk. Okay, so what I'm using is the Vanity Planet Explora, which is a microdermabrasion tool. And this portion is sponsored by Vanity Planet because we were super excited to try out their microdermabrasion tool. So basically it's an at-home device where you can really help to gently buff away and explore exfoliate your skin. I did try this last night and boy was it interesting. <laughs> You'll see there's like a nozzle here. This one is the fine one and then depending on your skin type or where you want it there's a 
thicker, bigger one, which is for the rest of the face. And then there's a massaging Ooh. one. So you know how like you do suction cups mm -hmm. for things like promoting collagen, yeah. for moving around fluids. You can do that with this. Okay, and then there's three levels, right? So it's very highly suggested. You start on one because it's the most gentle. And what it does is literally just like, it's like one of those fish that just like, it's like a baby octopus <laughs> on your face. Yes. <laughs> so I'm on level one. And then what you do, Rue, I think you will love this for your nose, mm -hmm. just the fine yeah. tip. You just run it over your like crevices, uh -huh. the hard to reach areas. Uh -huh. And I find I always get dead flaky skin uh -huh. here, which then turns into breakouts. Yeah, you just go across and it just like sucks away. But it's for exfoliation, not for actual sucking out the blackheads and the whiteheads. Yeah, it's not for sucking out because the little ring actually has a very fine like exfoliating nub Ooh. at the top. So I think if you have very sensitive skin, definitely go on a level one because my skin can tolerate a little bit more. It's like man skin, <laughs> you know, thick, coarse, oily. It's very <laughs> resistant. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you which one I'll use over my cheeks because the cheeks are a yeah. little bit of a bigger area. So I've tried this before and I don't know, maybe like because I am a little sensitive and dry. If I were to accidentally hover that thing over any one spot for a little too long, it just turns into like a red circle. Exactly, so that's why you should definitely not do that. So as you can see, it will leave a little bit of redness, but that's fine because that will go away. The difference is like if you leave it there for a long time and then it's like stuck red <laughs> for a couple of yeah. hours. That would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> and you probably only want to use these exfoliating nozzles once a week. But what you can use almost every day to stimulate collagen, to move around the uh, facial fluids, is the massaging one. Mm. In which it just moves the fluids so that if you're bloated, if you're puffy, this will really help with that. And I think this is quite enjoyable. How is the nub of this one different from the other ones? This one's smooth. It's like just a smooth Ooh. ring. It's got that like slightly coarse mm -hmm. exfoliating mm -hmm. thing. So I can actually see little bits of my dead skin oh, on here. Beautiful. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in trying microdermabrasion, it is quite simple to do at home, but just make sure you're moving it around and you're not hovering over one place. And if you're interested in checking more about this, we'll have all the details in the description below. How's the toner going? It's amazing. Isn't it so yeah. good? Like there's no fragrance or anything. It's just so simple, yeah. hydrating. I think I just did my seventh layer. What does it feel like? Because if you were to do seven or three layers of other products, it would be sticky, right? Yeah. This one's very, very light. So light. It's like water. So watery. Okay, so you tone. Now I'm going to actually skip toner and jump straight to an essence. This is the Dr. Cyrical Tea Tree Purifying 95 Essence for Calming, Hydrating and Evens Skin Tone. Wow, what a <laughs> girl one. Wow, look at this. So pretty, huh? So Dr. Cyrical, we got introduced to by Old Lolly when we tried their pop 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 it's still the morning when we tried their Propolis Serum. So I am thoroughly intrigued and loving this brand, which is why I'm trying the tea tree. What have you got? I have the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I'll get into this in a bit. You can go in with it first. So the tea tree comes out. Oh, is it in focus? Okay, so it's like a clear... Ooh, it's very lightweight. So if you guys have used any tea tree products, some of them are really like strong the tea tree scent but this is nothing oh my god it just completely sunk into my skin wow this almost feels like a toner serum okay so the first ingredient is 95 percent tea tree leaf extract wow 93 percent and it Amazing. doesn't smell 95 and it doesn't smell and it's so lightweight so i put on two layers and it just feels plump 
Oh my god, but not sticky. Should I just put on the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum? I believe this is their version 2.0. Doesn't your skin just feel so glowing and like happy when you put on yeah. such a serum? <laughs> it's like injecting hydration back into your skin. They reformulated it from trinosamic acid to this derivative that is said to be I believe they said it was either more gentle or more effective and they also switched out some ingredients based off of user and like customer feedback and I think that's so cool like they're definitely listening we love it and with something like this it's you know I can use it right now and be like oh my skin feels slightly brighter but anything with brightening anything with vitamin C vitamin B most of these more active ingredients it's gonna be through a longer period of time of like half month a month where you can start actually seeing real difference okay so out of 10 how much do you like the consistency or that serum it is quite light it is quite hydrating blends very nicely into the skin out of 10 texturally everything I believe it's not fragrance I don't think good molecules fragrance their things like an 8 out of 10 so, shall we move on out because my bathroom got no circulation. <laughs> beep, 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 so we're going to go into beep, our rooms beep, beep, to do moisturizer and sunscreen. Bling, bling, bling. bling. So we're continuing. Um, I have two steps left. I also have two steps left. Which two do you have? Okay, so I have the Japan Fusion from Beauty Pie. It's the Urban Air Purifying Day Moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I just saw it said light. I don't know whether that means color or texture. It's so cute. It's got a bunch of ingredients that I've never heard about. Put it on your face. Okay, it's called Japan Fusion because the ingredients formulated in it are like Japanese derived citrus fruits, grapes. Ooh, I'm so excited. So what are you using? I am using the Clariderm Dr. Lacto Barrier Cream. This I found on Yes Style. I think the barrier cream and the color of this bottle just sold me. I was like, barrier? Yes, ceramides, Centella Asiatica, yes. I'm gonna shake a shaker. Shake, Ooh. shake, shake. shake I'm just shake, gonna shake. put this on my face. My face is like, I've been waiting for this layer for the past 20 minutes. Oh, rude. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> so this also has vitamin C from the Japanese citrus fruit, 2% mm -hmm. grape peel, which as we know is resveratrol, which is what Cordelie's entire line is based off. Mm -hmm. the antioxidant anti-aging and it's also got a yeast derivative that helps with moisture and retaining and locking it in Whoa. this is like tatcha meets sk2 meets cordially <laughs> this is so good how's yours it's amazing it just like blended so beautifully into my skin so this cream just ugh, the texture is i don't have many words to describe something like this it's super hydrating, it is super moisturizing, as a good moisturizer should be. But do you guys kind of see how it's like a bit white, but as you work it in, it's gone. And in here, there's ceramides, which is one of the building blocks of your skin barrier. So it's just very nourishing, very hydrating. And there's also a 7-lacto complex, something like that. Not really sure what that means. I think Felicia and I will probably guess that it might be probiotics, but because this is such a new product, there's not a lot of information online. Everything's in Korean, so we'll have one of our editors check it out and correct us if we're wrong. There's also this antioxidant trademarked ingredient that I think it's probably like really high in antioxidants. How's yours? It is like lightweight, but I think even you can use it because even though it's so lightweight, there's a little like nourishment of oils mm -hmm. on there, but it doesn't feel thick and suffocating. And it's absolutely clear, like it didn't have that milky work-in process. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a fan. I think we're both fans of everything we've tried today, huh? We don't always love everything, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Well, I think one of the main things that gets me really excited is this is the first product I've tried really from Beauty Pie. And this has set such a high standard and you will definitely be <laughs> hearing more about this from us. So moving along to the most important step, sunscreen! 
thing. Wait, we got Dr. Circle. Yes. yes, I have the Dr. Circle 5 Alpha Control No Sebum Sun Lotion. SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. No sebum. Sounds like something I dig. <laughs> I actually want you to try this too with me a little later. So I got the new Fenty Beauty that we were sent. Ooh. Yeah, so it's got avobenzone, homocellate, and octosylate. So it is broad spectrum SPF 30, meaning it will protect you from UVA and UVB rays, which is great. <laughs> I took this out again thinking it was a cap. Okay, so it's like a pump. Let me just show you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so first impressions, it is very fragranced. Mm. Like, <laughs> you're, you look like you're in pain. <laughs> it feels beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. it's very glowy. It almost reminds me of the Crave Beauty consistency. Like, it glows. You look glowing. This is definitely a chemical sunscreen because it has no white cast. As you can see, it just glides over the face. So as you like wear it, the, the smell does kind of like <sighs> dissipate. Mm -hmm. What does it smell like? <laughs> You know how it's very hard to describe scents? It's like kind of a floral fragrance. Yeah. Mine is for show a physical sunscreen. You can see there's a discoloration between my face and my neck. So maybe I just need to work it down my neck. Would you say this is brightening? For you, it looks brightening. Like after you work it into the skin. You have to give it like five, 10 minutes to settle in and it looks brightened to you. But I feel like if I wore that, <laughs> so I also have it. Let me, let me try it on for all of you guys with a little bit more of a medium complexion. I'm also not like really, really tan. But, but you're more olive for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is it on my hand. Ooh, the texture is so nice though. It is very like watery, fluid. It does absorb into your skin very nicely. It's just, um, and I guess maybe with something like this, if you were to put it on in layers, I think it might be a bit better. I think well, now my face just looks bright. Like, oh my God, no, Rue, this is amazing. I think I just put too much on in the beginning so that it takes a while to work in. And I think it helps when your skin is very moisturized. It's like a really beautiful satin finish. Yes, yeah, satin. Where it's not glowy and yeah. shiny, but it's not matte. So let me show you in sunlight what it looks like. So this is the physical with the slight white cast, and this is the nothing. <laughs> Dude, I could totally get away with this. It blends beautifully. It does. Okay, so I think conclusion, it gives a brightening effect. It's not It does. White. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so guys, that is our morning routine try on. Were there any standout products? Love Tatcha's rice wash. The toner's amazing. The Benton toner that you really loved. The serum's pretty cool, but I think I'd have to use it for, you know, a month for me to really tell if it can help with discoloration. And love the moisturizer, sunscreen. I still prefer more like the Crave chemical that gives you that glow. What about you? I don't know, I really love all of them like the cleanser was really gentle it had just enough of that rose aroma that didn't feel fake and it was very hydrating nourishing and then the essence was so lightweight it didn't smell like tea tree so it wasn't overpowering and it helped to control oils with the witch hazel and this was amazing and the consistency very lightweight but still offering you that nourishing moisturized feeling without it being like overly oily and then the sunscreen the only downfall is that it is quite heavily fragrant so um, I don't think there were any fails in this mm. trial. So Rue, before we end, what's something that you look forward to for the rest of the week or that you're practicing or you've thought about? So yesterday I was catching up with a college friend of mine and he was talking about how he's been doing morning pages or just like free writing every single day. And it reminded me of how I used to journal a lot, but historically I only journal when like my world is in shambles and I'm like, I have to write my feelings out to make sense of what's going on. So after talking to my friend, I was like, you know what? What if 
I were to do it every single day for a month and then hopefully it'll, you know, proceed further than that. I started it last night. I felt like I got 20% of what I wanted to say out. So I'm excited to continue later today or just like tonight before I go to bed to like maybe get like, I don't know, five pages out to just brain dump. Brain dump. It's so helpful. The reason why we get really stressed or tense is because everything's bottled up inside of us. So it's helpful to talk to friends, it's helpful to talk to people, but also I feel like journaling is a great outlet as well. And I feel like the biggest tip you can do is to not overthink anything. Whatever comes to your brain, just write it down. And that's free writing. One thing I've been thinking about is like patience. Like <laughs> with this <laughs> jackhammer. <laughs> So I feel like in general, I would say I'm pretty patient. Except when there's a jackhammer <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> okay, I would say in general, I like to think I'm pretty patient, but I started like digging deeper into it and realizing like patience should be applied everywhere in any circumstance, right? It's not selective patience. And I think that applies into everything like skincare, into the approach you learn, into how you deal with people, into the patience you have for yourself in like developing and learning and not like putting additional stresses on top of things. Yeah, I think at this time, there's only so much we can go out and talk to people, get things moving. And I think I let that get the best of me and then it's like time to reel it back in a little and practice patience <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you love this and you want to see more of it testing out first impressions let us know which products you're interested in and hope you guys are all doing well stay tuned for our very very exciting video on saturday where we um come to you with some exciting news about some products that you might love launching something Sioris, maybe. <laughs> um, yes, epic wink. On behalf of Ro and I, we'll see you very soon. Bye. Ro says bye. Bye. Her camera died. Bye. <laughs> Is it weird that I have my coffee <laughs> in the bathroom? Not at all. Your morning routine can start anywhere with anything, anytime. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry. I'm like trying to fix things. <laughs> I don't know, that has a mind of its own. It's like trying to attack me. <laughs> Cute.